this definitely helps with anxiety, depression, mental illness. I mean, it's definitely different than the 1950s psychiatric asylum, so yeah. that's for sure. Squeezing my calves and my ankles from tendonitis helps us. And we all know how that feels. says enough, check out the playlist, check out our shorts, subscribe, join the family, the princess channel, EBDL 18 plus lifestyle, DDLG plus 18 plus lifestyle, autism, special needs, anorexia, singing, dancing, formula, uh, mental health, illness, depression, anorexia, PD slash DID, borderline personality disorder, new age term, the slide thousand and something, thrice, that's just the dissociative identity disorder. Little fucking weird Choose happy good vibe. F U C K. It's also the stupid bed pillow with the night weight and like everything else. And our system and our world is like a coral door. And oh my god, you guys should check out the originals. But watch Vampire Diaries first before you watch the originals. Oh my god. As a fucking practicing witch. Whoa, buddy the crack is wicked. Pretty cool though, actually, so check it out. But this definitely helps with, like, I don't know, we're not back in the asylum anymore, you know, we missed the asylum and stuff like that. And, like, this TV is really playing fucking wacko tricks on us. It's like a dead that came out with, like, showing gray outside and, like, some kind of, like, obviously gas lantern candle light all over the jiggy sitting on the Cheshua. Ubistas and Zuma. If you like any Ackermans on this stupid channel, check out the playlist. Check out the shorts. This channel is definitely interesting going on two years on YouTube. I mean, we did have another channel before, but you know, people want to be. Transphobic, prejudiced, closed minded, racist, arrogant, piece of shit. And then went bye bye bye. Now we had to start all over again. I'm gonna say almost two years at least. Going on, we wanna make it to like a thousand subscribers and eventually get paid. But you know, I don't know how that works, but you know, yeah. Sometimes, I tell you. I don't think they understand us. Mental illness is way too fucking like contemplating off the ride. So if you can identify and not compare, hit the thumbs up button and pass this along. I don't know what to do anymore. This whole necromancy thing is like, if I could just dig her up by wood. And like exhume her and put her in like a mausoleum or a glass casket and I'd be her forever and ever and ever and ever <gasps> and never let her go. Yeah. That'd be awesome. But you know they really need to go back to the 1800s and 1900s of like death and like like worshipping the dead and like going gothic and like I don't know I totally get the gothic and like Subtitle lifestyles are the gothic 
and vampirism is like pretty wicked and witchcraft is all like in the circle of life. And I think they're you know, like further sister related. They all like to wear black, so I don't know how colorful, pastel type of like chick. Because our littles are into ABDL slash DDL D lifestyle, 18 plus. Clearly, you watch my channel, 18 plus. But, yep, witchcraft has definitely helped us out. So, this has been for Nancy, but like, I don't know. We do want to dig her up. We do, I mean, I don't know. I have no cameras, no proof of anything, but he said, supposedly, my mother, when she fucking broke her hip the first time, she was brushing her teeth in the bathroom. Mind you, he's in the living room, probably fucking drinking as usual. But, apparently, she lost balance because she wasn't walking for like two weeks straight and just laying in bed all day because she had to wrap you from the cancer and her mother. But, I don't get it. Like, and then, like, when she did break her hip, she didn't go for treatment because she was supposedly dying of cancer. And she had Maltomo Malone, which is a bone cancer. And she struggled with that for like a year and six months. But, like, I don't get it. Or a year and three months. I don't know. But, like, she stopped treatment. She signed paper for her stupid husband, which is not my father, by the way. And, like, I don't know. I just can't mentally comprehend this shit. Like, I'd rather move to a cemetery that is like six minutes by walking closer to where I live and like put in a mausoleum slash like glass casket coffin. I would love that. I would give up $18,000, $22,000 and just give it all back just to have removed. But can't do that. Not allowed to because the state owns her and her husband owns her. How do you own someone who's dead? Supposedly dead. How do you own someone who's fucking dead? Like, you talk all this shit, but she's a, you're a widow, but like, you fucking want her? How do you own someone that's not around, supposedly? But you're telling us she's dead, and no, we don't acknowledge it, and we don't believe it, but you're telling us she's dead. Makes no fucking sense. Make it make sense, people. Just saying. I don't know. I think the whole shit is like crap. And then, like, I know she broke her hips when she fell. She rolled out of bed, apparently, because she had a woohoo moment, according to her husband. Like, how do you just, like, she had a box spring and a mattress, which is not that high off the floor. She had no bed frame. So, I don't get, it. like, how do you roll out of bed and you bump your head? That's where I want to get shit, like, exhumed and her dug up and exhumed. Because it's like, how do you say this to me and to the nurses? Because I heard it all. When you're quiet and you're a quiet person, and you sit back and listen with autism, you can hear and observe a lot of things that you're not supposed to observe or want to hear. Bonuses of being autistic and special and special needs. So yeah, when you're a quiet person, that's what happens. And uh, yeah, thumbs up this video, please. It helps us out on the channel. Thank you much, 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 much. I don't know. I should title us the psychic. Psychiatric Asylum Treatment for Mental Illness. Not a bad idea, actually. But, again, this is 18 plus channel, ABDO lifestyle, 18 plus DDLG lifestyle, 18 plus autism, doll core, look book dressing, a little bit like a porcelain doll, kawaii, cryonorexia forum, autism, special needs, Asperger's and singing and dancing on the channel. If you like those Ackermans and content, thumbs up, subscribe, and join the family. I'm just depressed. That's all. Fucked up and depressed, me, man. Does anyone else miss the Spice Girls besides us? Just saying. I don't know what to do. Long care ride home. Probably just gonna go back to bed. Not eat the pizza. We should walk for one hour before going to bed. But you know, I think we're gonna take a shower. Definitely when we go home and wash our hair and put really good conditioner in it because our hair is like really dry. I'm from the Blonde Highlands. Just in general, I wash your hair once a week. And when we do wash it, it's with conditioner, not shampoo. 
We only use shampoo once a month in our hair because um, it's better for your hair. Actually, it's healthier when you don't wash your hair with shampoo. You let your natural oils like produce, even if you don't dye your hair, it's really, really good for your hair. So yeah. But uh, yeah, we have alters, we switch out, dissociative identity and disorder is a real fucking thing. This is a real fucking illness. Make it make sense, people. It is real. Yep, we disable the comments because people are rude, mean, and fucked up, and we don't want to hear your bullshit. Just like when we go live, we don't want to hear your negativity and your rudeness. And by the way, we can't control our alters. We cannot control our system. Whatever comes out, comes out. Like this, you know? I'm not even going to go who it is. Hi, it's Emily. See? Hold it. But like, nobody cares. Like, just stop. Stop, stop, stop. Like, leave us alone. Don't be rude. Don't be mean. Don't be post minded or racist or transphobic or anything of the etc. <sighs> Don't be fairy fake. You know, like candles. Pray to the fairies. Pick them up. Don't pick the mushrooms. Do not pick the mushrooms. They live there. Damn it. Do not touch them. Give them leaves and acorns and offerings because fairies are real. Tinkerbell is real. So is Teletubbies. 75% alcohol wipes work great. 75% alcohol wipes work great. Just saying. I don't know. All the time, probably. I would definitely use 75% alcohol wipes on everything. They clean the toilet bowl really good. They clean the floor really good. And they clean the shower. And I recommend them for cleaning your home. And they like prevent germs and negativity and drama. So yeah, buy 75% alcohol wipes. They are like your best friend and like they disinfect germs and they clean. But I use them bleach, it's kind of cool. And it actually takes permanent marker off, which is really weird. But I don't recommend, like, I would just use them on, like, surface counters lightly. Um, and when they dry up, when you're done, draw them out. But they're good for the tobo, the tub, the sink, light switches, uh, oops, that she's over. And stuff like that. That's what I do. I think they're kind of cool, actually. That's what we think. So, yeah. That's what we think. See? 75% alcohol wipe. One thirty-five. Two o'clock. We go bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, by the way, buy cute shoes and use permanent markers on them. And you can make your own designs like we did. It's more artistic. Yeah.